this should be fun. Tonight I'm drinking, oh hello, <laughs> I'm drinking rum and coke, it's my go-to drink, please join me if you want to. Shall we get on with the makeup? So glasses off, ears on, there we go, oh yeah, are they, are they straight? <laughs> right, I've already wet my sponges, so I'm all prepared there. Okay, first things first, primer, couple of squirts on the finger, just dab it around. I've not got my mirror up yet, I don't need to, I don't need to use my mirror for this part. This is just primer. Again, if you've not seen me do this before, if you're new to If you're new to the channel, I use primer because I've got oily skin and it stops the makeup from moving around my face. Um, if I put makeup on without primer, um, because, I have, because I'm a guy, <laughs> I've got wrinkles here and it tends to build up in the wrinkles when you apply it. So primer helps makeup stay where you put it and it stops it from moving around and gathering in the cracks so to speak. I'm 40 years old. It tends to happen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm 41 this year. Eesh. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that dry. Um, this is a different glass. I've got two glasses so I don't have to uh, go into the kitchen again. Um, so I've been drinking this while I've been setting up the, uh, the Blu-ray playback. Right, let's do the colour corrector. As you can see, um, my face is kind of pink and red in spots because I've been rubbing my face, of course. Um, but just around here, you might be able to see in the light, it's this kind of a greenish tint where my beard was, or, you know, the, the stubble and stuff that's still there. So it's got a greeny colour. So I correct it with this orange colour corrector. And as a guy, I think if you apply makeup and do this kind of thing, um, you do want to use colour corrector because it's just going to look silly if you don't. So, you know what, before I do that, I better put my mirror up because it's going to be weird looking into the screen there at my face because it's the wrong way around. I don't know why I'm talking like this all of a sudden. I just am. And deal with it. <laughs> okay. Oh, it is quite dark in this mirror, isn't it? Let me move back a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Um, there we go. That's better. That's better. Right. Colour corrector. Let's do this. So, just around this area here. Don't have to be perfect. Perfect when you. You don't have to be perfect when you're applying this. Um, doesn't need to be that great. And all you're going to do is you're going to take one of your sponges. This is the one I use. Well, you can see where it's been used, and just dab it downwards as you press onto the skin. And I'm not going to use too much of this this, this time. Um, I'm just going to use enough to uh, cover the area where my stubble is. So we're just going up the side of the face there and a little bit underneath. You're not going to see underneath anyway, so I'm not going to bother doing that. You can still hear my stubble. I'll do that. Can you hear it? <laughs> It's not the closest shave ever. But th this should counteract it. Okay, I'm just going to go up the face a little bit. Because basically what we're doing here is blending into my natural skin. Mm. 
that's that's okay might be able to get away with that so I'm just gonna leave that as it is um, next we're gonna go over that with some uh, Rimmel stay mat uh, powder this is number five it's a silky beige Tis the colour of old 90s style computers when they used to get old. <laughs> so basically, just going to go over that with the powder. I've got a spot just there. Is that a spot? It is. I've got a spot just there. <laughs> okay. We're getting there. And I am going to do the whole face with this powder. that with the uh, cat ears. There we go, that'll do. <laughs> okay. So this is this doesn't have to be perfect because um, I am going to go over this with some uh, liquid foundation. good enough I mean yeah the top bit looks whiter than this bit but this is why we're going over it with uh, liquid foundation so what you want to do next is take a large brush and just brush over your face get rid of any um, any powder that hasn't stuck to the face It's allergy season, so I'm a little bit snotty at the minute. Which isn't great, but you know, whatever. Flowers will never kill me. They may try, but I will still prevail, bitches. Right. This is a poreless matte finish uh, foundation liquid foundation from uh, Maybelline. Uh, this is number 105. I thought I had a different one than this, but obviously not. So with this one, we're going to take the other side of the uh, sponge. I don't tend to use that other sponge that much, which is fine. And um, we're just going to dab it around that. Do, it, do one section at a time with this. And obviously, blend as well. <laughs> I 
We're getting there. Thing is, it looks fine in the mirror because in, in the mirror it's kind of dark, but on the screen it's really light. And that's because of these uh, studio lights, but uh, it's never going to look like that in real life. There you go. Orange almost gone. There's some just just at the bottom there. It's easier to see on the screen where I've not done yet. Let's do the other side. You're not going to see the other side that much, but I'll do it anyway. go good so you can't really see the outline of the beard anymore so the green has gone but we are going to do the whole face anyway because it would look odd if I don't extra here for this um, there we go okie dokie where am I? I need to do that bit there. Placing soon, I think. Okay. There we go. How's that look? I need to. Do, uh, oh, is that light? Is that the light, or is it just not blended terribly well? Well, it's blended now. So it doesn't matter either way, does it? There we go. So I can't. <laughs> I don't know which way around I'm looking. Okay, I can't. Uh, <laughs> really difficult to figure out which way I'm turning. <laughs> um, do you know what? I think that will probably, probably do. Um, yeah, that'll probably do. Looking kind of white on the camera, but um, again, it's fine in real life because of the lighting. Um, I'm on my second glass. Okay, so 
let's go for the eyebrows. No, let's not. So we're going to go over it with the powder again, just to uh, just to set everything in place and make sure everything's nice and blended. I've got straight hair there. It's not ideal. Okay, I'm just patting with this powder. And basically the aim with this powder is just to finish off the look. I mean, I do look very white on the camera, but what you're gonna do? That's just studio lighting for you. Okay. Few wrinkles there. I'm getting old. <laughs> Again, just take the brush and just uh, get rid of any. You, you, you're not brushing quite hard with this brush. You're just doing it very, very lightly. So all you're doing is very lightly brushing over your face and getting rid of any excess powder that hasn't stuck to the skin. There we go. There you go. You can't really see the remains of my stubble anymore. So job done. Right now we've done the foundation we're going to see what we can do with the whole Barbie look. So um, Barbie tan. So with Barbie, if I look at the pictures for Margot Robbie as Barbie, they've gone with a very sort of natural look. Um, they've not gone too overboard with the uh, the makeup. So I'm going to do the eyebrows slightly different to my previous videos. So instead of what I usually do is start with this Maybelline. Come on, focus, focus. So what I usually do is start with this uh, Maybelline eyebrow pen it's a it's a dark um oops. <laughs> it's a dark brown pen and i usually use that on my eyebrows um i got this instead uh this is from b&m it cost about i don't know three pound not much um and we're going to use this powder instead so let's take it out the packaging come on open can't open it. Jesus Christ, what the f Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you saw I don't know if you saw that. There's a little like thing here. I thought you had to put your finger underneath a little thing there and open it, but no, it's just just that. <laughs> oh wow, it comes with a How are you supposed to use that? Look at that! Look how tiny that is! Oh dear god. Anyway, I'm going to be using this brush because this is better. So, what we're thinking? Uh, number three? Yeah. I'm thinking number three as well. So, just... Oh god, that's... actually really uh, went on really quickly that still looks kind of dark doesn't it hmm hmm
Okay. Okay, so I think is that okay? I think we're good with this. Um, yeah, so that's fine with that. Um, then I'm gonna, I'm, I am actually gonna take my where have I put it? Where the hell have I put it? <laughs> Where have I just put the eyebrow pencil? I haven't drank that much rum, where is it? Where is it? What's going on? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, it's, be it's behind my glass, never mind. So, I am going to just God. Do the outer bits with the uh, eyebrow pen. Just to extend the eyebrows a little bit. There we go. Um. I think they're, they're, they're fine. Uh, just gonna go over with the little, with a paddy thing on the other side. I don't know what it's called. Just blend the eyebrows in. I think we're good. I mean, I don't think they're quite perfect, but they'll do. They'll do. Cheers. Okay, so that's done. Eyebrow pencil, we don't need that anymore. Don't need this brush. Right, Barbie doesn't really have dark eyeshadow, so what I'm going to do is start with a mascara because she does still have mascara and if you don't use mascara as a guy doing this uh, you're missing out on a big trick because mascara instantly makes you look more feminine um, so utilize this the best you can so you want it on quite thick but not too thick okay so That's one. And with mascara, I don't know if you can see, but I'm not, oh God. <laughs> I'm not brushing my, my eye, So, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not actually brushing my eye... Eyelashes. They're called eyelashes. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can see, but I'm not actually just brushing my eyelashes up like that. I'm just putting the brush here, touching the eyelashes and then blinking, basically. Not a full blink but enough to bring the eyelash down past the brush and twisting the brush as I'm doing it. So I don't know if you can see, so like that. That's how I'm doing it. And that will uh, apply 
mascara. Pretty well, I guess. There we go. That's that's good enough. I am just going to do some of the hairs on this bottom lid as well. Not too much. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Okay, yeah, it'll do. Wait for them to dry. I'm not going to go further than that. You're not going to be able to tell from that distance, but uh, that seemed to go quite well. Oh dear. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Um, so, oh god. Got a bit of a. Uh, have a slight bit of black eye uh, mascara on my eyelid there, so I'm just going to rub it off. <laughs> I don't know why I open my mouth, mouth when I do some of this stuff. The next thing I do is my um, eyeshadow with this Rimmel um, eyeshadow. So normally I'd do my eyelashes with that. I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do is use this palette box again and I'm going to open it, there we go. Um, I'm going to use this pinkish one here and I'm going to use that as eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this, which I, I can't remember where I got this from, it was probably one of those cheap things I got from B&M, but it works. Um, and I'm gonna. Oh my god, that's actually quite thick, isn't it? Okay. Am I going to be able to blend this properly? Oh dear. <laughs> It doesn't matter too much because, as I've said before, I have hooded eyes. So, not going to be too much of a problem if if this isn't blended perfectly. Okay. Yep, I'm happy with that. Hmm. What do we think? That's, that's very pink, isn't it? <laughs> Mind you, it'll match the, uh, the whole Barbie look, but, uh, yeah. It's, mm, it's fine. Uh, I'm just going to take a brush and go over it. Um, I need a brush that hasn't been tainted by my black eyeshadow, so maybe this one. working doesn't feel like it's working hmm. I mean you can't again you can't really tell um, I am tempted to just do some of the lids in that colour as well, but a very light pink. So if I just do this, like that. I 
Should be just enough to. Uh, hmm. You know what? Let's stop using that and let's use this bush instead. That's a bit better. But again, it's very pink. Is that good? I don't know. Okay, let's try and blend it a bit. This is the first time I've used a different colour for my eyeshadow than black. So, forgive me if it's, if it's not perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna... <sighs> Basically, I'm just using this paper towel to blend it a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. So, hmm. So if I just use a paper towel to blend it a little more, and on this side, sometimes a paper towel, sometimes a paper towel will do what uh, a brush can't. Um, it does mean wiping away some of the foundation, but as you can see. It has blended it quite well, I think. Maybe. Um, so yeah. Barbie, look. I'm 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 digging it. I'm digging it quite a lot. <coughs> okay, we've been going for 42 minutes now. Recording time. Um, Next up is the lipstick. Now, lipstick's gonna be a bit awkward because the only lipstick I have that's anywhere near a natural look, <laughs> I could have gone out and bought some when I bought the clothes, but I forgot, so shoot me. <laughs> the only lipstick I've got is this nude lipstick, which I don't think really works for the whole Barbie look because she does have sort of a, um, a pinky colour to her lips. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I have this, uh, this NY, come on, focus, NYX Lingerie XXL lipstick thing. Um, and instead of applying this quite, you know, quite a lot, I'm just going to very lightly apply it. And it's not going to be the best, but it's going to have to do. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just going to use my finger on that top lip. Maybe the finger wasn't the best idea. Okay. I 
th that's going to have to do, isn't it? So it's a, it's 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 too red, very much too red. Um, I wasn't intending it to be red. I was trying to go for pink. Um, all I can do is. Okay, that's that's going to have to do, I guess. Mm. Not entirely happy with this lipstick, but whatever. So, what I'm going to do also is I have this um, uh, that swell extreme lip plumper. And apparently this makes your lips tingle and it makes your lips look fuller. So I am going to pop this on before I do that. Let's have a quick drink. Mm, I'm not happy with this lipstick. <laughs> okay, let's apply this. And you know what? I think that's actually helped to, uh, oh God. Um, Yeah, that's not staying on there, is it? I'm just gonna leave that on for a bit and then I'll take it off later. Look at the state of my lipstick, look at that. That's not good. I think that's the worst lipstick I've ever applied. Ah, screw it, screw it. Let me show you what I do with my outfit um, to uh, cover everything up and make, make me look sexy. So first I start with these. These are swimming trunks. Um, I can't, <laughs> how can I put this? Um, I have difficulty tucking. Um, so I wear swimming trunks whenever I do this whole dressing up thing to help me hide my bits. Um, there's no other way to put that. That's that's just the way it is. Um, I have difficulty hiding things, so the, these do help. They kind of crush everything to, to my body, but it helps everything not show when I'm wearing anything tight. So this is, this is the first thing I do. Um, then, because I'm wearing a top that's pink, I have this pink-ish bra. I got this from uh, I imagine a lot of you watching this will be familiar with this. Uh, this was from TK Maxx, not TK Maxx, what am I talking about? So this is a crop top from Primark uh, with Barbie on it. I went into Nottingham today and went to White Rose, which is a charity shop. Um, I found this white skirt, which I'll be using for today's video. Um, haven't tried it on yet. I'm hoping it fits me. What size is it? Hang on. Where the hell's the thing? So this is a size 42. No idea what that means. Um, I just took it off the rack, looked at the width and thought that'll probably fit me. <laughs> That's how I shop. You can shop anywhere you like. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to get changed now. Let's pop on the wig. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> so.
So, um, I've, I think I've mentioned this before, but uh, these wigs I bought from a shop in Nottingham called Expression, with an X without the E at the beginning. So, the reason I go into a shop to buy my wigs is because you can actually go in and feel the texture of the hair, you can see the colour, you can feel the quality. Um, I would never buy a wig online because you can't see what you're buying. I'm going to put this on because I don't have anything else. Um, it's one of those stupid clasp things, which I think is the stupidest invention ever. <laughs> so, oh god, look at the... I hate these things. That's fine. It'll do. There we go. Lovely. Right, I need to go and get my brush because I don't know... <laughs> I don't know where I've put my brush. Which is a bit of a problem. Okay, so... Just be very careful when brushing wigs because they do damage quite easily. And that's not what you want. You want them to last as long as possible. Um, so, you know. Oh dear. There we go. <laughs> How are we doing? Are we doing okay? Okay, so here is the final look for the Barbie. Here is the final look. I think it's okay. Um, hmm. Could be worse, I guess. It's okay. So, um, yeah, I'm okay with it. Uh, what do you think? Does it work? Leave a comment in the uh, comment section if you, uh, if you like this look. You know, I think I'm liking this. This this is this is okay. Is it okay for you? I do like doing the whole kitten thing. What do you think? Is it cool? Is it okay for you? I'm just gonna get rid of this um this shine to my lip gloss. It's driving me a little bit crazy. Oh wow, that, a lot of <laughs> a lot of that came off. That'll do. Actually, that's not too bad. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that.
Okay, shall we get the nails on before we watch the film? Oh my god, it's 11 o'clock. Okay, so... I'm wearing these nails again. These are French nails from Boots. A more natural looking nail, as you can see. Every time I put nails on, I am reminded how ridiculously difficult this is. And I can see why women go to nail technicians to do this because it is so annoying. Okay. Happy with that? Oh, that's actually not on straight, is it? Can't really tell. But yeah, you can. <laughs> Look at the state of that. <laughs> Look what I've done. It's not even anywhere near straight. <laughs> that is, that is, no oh my God. That is nowhere near straight. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't believe I put that on wonky. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if I can take it off and do it again. Nope, that is st stuck on there. Oh no. There we go. Okay, I can do it again. We're, we're fine. We're okay. Still slightly skewing. <laughs> why, why do I have trouble putting that one on? Everything else is fine. That, that is not even close to being the size of my finger. Look at that. That's, that's just... That's not close to being the size of my finger. Oh my god. It looks fine from far away, and that's all we need for this video, so <laughs> screw it. <laughs> oh dear. You know what? I think I'd make a rubbish woman. I can't do anything correctly. There we go. I mean, it's... It's not the best. I mean, you can't... It looks awful close up. But at a distance, you can't really tell. So, suck it. <laughs> there we go. Nails all done. Nails all done. I'm happy with that. Look kind of cute. Looking kind of cute, I guess. Looking all kinds of cute with the nails on. Okay, I, I guess we should probably um, start watching Barbie. <laughs> Okay, this is the final look. I've got my nails on, as you can see. I can do this. I think it's kind of cute. Kind of works for Barbie. Um, the whole blonde thing with the uh, pink top and the white uh, denim skirt. Oh, well, it's not denim, is it? But it's a white skirt, anyway. So, I think it works.
I am liking this look, I'll be honest. Oh, you can see my bra. Let's just sort that out. I am liking this look. Okay, so um, we're going to watch Barbie. Um, never seen it before. Oh, let me just do this properly. 